Let me just read you a few things. Just to... In 2015, while Terry McAuliffe was governor, the Virginia Department of Education promoted incorporating a critical race theory lens in education. You can still find it on the Department of Education's website. Still there. In February uh, 2019, a superintendent not, memo for the Virginia the Department of Education promoted Senator, crystal race theory and not, the idea of white fragility. It's not. It's not. I part learned of the it yesterday. It's um, still I, there, I do want to ask. So well, it's not the in the curriculum. Showed up. Just, just to be clear, it's not. It's not in the curriculum. Fine. Uh, it's not part of the curriculum. I would like to move on with you. <laughs> How crazy is that? Despite being clearly refuted, she continues telling this lie that CRT is not in the schools, like a good little Democrat party mouthpiece. What even is this segment? Democrats are the one in charge right now, but all she wants to do is deflect from that and focus negative attention on her political opponents. Why? Because she's worried about Democrats losing power in the midterms. The Virginia governor's race, is that the GOP playbook for the midterms basically ignore Donald Trump? Well, I hope that Democrats continue to do what Terry McAuliffe did. Uh, Terry McAuliffe ran his campaign. Uh, he did two but things. But you don't have control he over that. You only have Trump control over, say, and, the Glenn Youngkin in this case. So I'm asking you, as someone from the Republican perspective, because I'm pretty sure you're not advising Democratic candidates. Nope, that's clearly your job. And why shouldn't he be responding in the way he is, since you're clearly a bad actor who's trying to set him up? Now, this is about to become infuriating to watch as Brianna Keeler takes on this almost sedated, passive aggressive attitude and continues to lie despite all the examples of CRT in Virginia schools that are listed off by Rick Scott. Terry McAuliffe wanted to say, oh, there was nothing about critical race theory. We know that it, we know it's true. Parents know it's been, their kids are being indoctrinated with critical race theory in Virginia, and the Democrats wanted to deny it. I mean, and so well, it's the not parents in the curriculum. showed up because they don't like being lied to. I mean, to. just just to be clear, it's not it's not in the curriculum um, in Virginia. Uh, but, just oh, just to oh, be Brian, would you like me to, here. Let me just read you a few things. Just to, in 2015, while Terry McAuliffe was governor, the Virginia Department of Education promoted incorporating a critical race theory lens in education. You can still find it on the Department of Education's website. Still there. In uh, February 2019, a superintendent not, memo for the Virginia the, Department of Education promoted Senator, crystal race theory and not, the idea of white fragility. It's not. It's not. I part looked of at the it curriculum. yesterday. It's um, still I, there, I do Brianna. want to ask you, just to be clear about Brianna, where you are. Let's, let's all agree. Just, they were trying to indoctrinate kids. Terry McAuliffe denied it. It's still on the website. It is. This is happening. And I hope Democrats continue to say it's not happening because parents are dumb. They can see it. Your parents are dumb, you said? Aren't dumb. And here you have the level of seriousness on display here. I mean, it's pretty clear what he was saying, that the media and Democrats are the ones who think that parents are stupid. She's not interested in reporting facts or even appearing professional. Nope, she's just there to make Republicans look bad for opposing a far-left ideology that attempts to normalize anti-white racism. And what is it you always hear from people who are brainwashed with CRT-derived nonsense? That you can't be racist to white people. Gee, I wonder why they started saying that. No, they're not. I think parents are smart. My parents didn't have much of a formal education, but they cared about what I learned. This, parents I, are smart. I just, I just want to be clear. Okay, the, Senator, the I just Virginia have to be clear. Virginia Department of Education not... promoted critical race theory, and, and Terry McAuliffe said they didn't. I hope okay, Democrats listen, keep doing that all Senator, across the country. Fine. Uh, it's not part of the curriculum. I would like to move on with you. Of course, everything that Rick Scott listed here is absolutely verifiably true. The Virginia Department of Education website promotes CRT, despite McAuliffe and his media mouthpieces claims that it's never been taught there. On their website of books they're reading, it's a list of CRT-derived books. How to be anti-racist by Ibrahim X. Kendi. Oh, okay. A guy that believes that white people aren't even human, which is clearly anti-racist, right? Oh, and here we have Foundations of critical race theory in education. Kind of weird that CRT has never been taught in school, but the books that they're reading are about the foundations of critical race theory in education. And the title of this book basically says the quiet part out loud that while CRT, the legal theory may not be taught in school, 
It's the snake oil that's derived from CRT that's being injected into the curriculum. Like Scott mentioned, in 2015, then Governor McAuliffe's Department of Education told Virginia Public Schools to, quote, embrace critical race theory in order to, quote, re-engineer attitudes and belief systems. Also on the page, they call CRT a, quote, best practice and derive their definitions of racism, white supremacy, and education equity explicitly from critical race theory. It's right there on their website. McAuliffe and the Virginia Department of Education are openly embracing critical race theory in the schools. In 2019, Superintendent of Public Instruction James Lane sent out a memo to Virginia Public Schools endorsing, quote, foundations of critical race theory in education, calling it, quote, an important analytic tool that can further spur developments in education. Loudoun County Schools also hired a consulting firm to implement, quote, critical race theory and develop a high school class explicitly teaching CRT. The district superintendent even admitted that they want the curriculum to, quote, align with the ideology of CRT. Again, right there, it is undeniable. In February uh, 2019, a superintendent not, memo for the Virginia the Department of Education promoted Senator, crystal race theory not, and the idea of white fragility. It's not, it's not I part of the curriculum. So well, it's the not in the curriculum. showed up. Just, just to be clear, it's not, it's not in the curriculum. Fine. Uh, it's not part of the curriculum. I would like to move on. What's going on here is that we have Brianna and these other dishonest snake oil hucksters who are playing semantic word game. It reminds me of getting into an argument with a 12 year old. Go to bed. You're the boss. I thought I told you to go to bed. Yeah, right. Bread. You said go to bread. I said go to bed. No, CRT, the legal theory, is not being taught in school. There's no elementary, junior high, or high school class that teaches CRT the actual legal theory. However, they are indoctrinating kids with a far-left curriculum that's derived from CRT. That's how you get these openly racist beliefs like white privilege and white fragility, where they broadly assign a trait to people based on their skin color. I mean, it's the very definition of racism. Remember, Remember, CRT is a Marxist ideology that's derived from critical theory, which was used as a justification for political violence that led to millions dead in the Maoist revolution. This is dangerous stuff that at the very least deserves critical scrutiny. But instead, we're getting this cult-like adherence to denial, despite the truth being readily available and in your face. Not a good sign, in my opinion. All right, that's all I have for this one. As always, thanks for watching. Make sure to head on over to my Teespring store and check out my new line of Let's Be Brandon hoodies and tees. If you enjoyed the video hit that like button and let me know what you think in the comments